talk about some of the tweets you've been sending us. Thanks again for those. Uh, and this one is pretty opposite for the two of you guys because you both know what this fella, uh, Declan McNally, is on about. It's, he says, does it hurt more to lose a match in the final frame or to be on the receiving end of a heavy defeat? Ken, you've had it both ways in the UK <laughs> know, Championship, haven't you? Yeah, I've had it both ways here in this venue. Uh, I lost 10-1 to O'Sullivan one year. Uh, and I also lost 10-9 to uh, Mark Williams in the final as well. So 10-1, I don't know anything about. I don't remember anything. <laughs> but I remember a lot about losing the 10-9. I think that one would rankle with you more. For me, in any way, personally, I think if someone plays outer skin to beat you, you know, you forget about it very easy. But I think when it goes down to a final frame, for me, in any way, uh, I'm a differ here or not, but... You know, when you get down to the last frame, you think you could have won or you could have played a shot differently, and that's what costs you the championship. Uh, they're the ones that hurt most for me. They're I the think. ones that haunt you, yeah, John. Stay, stay with you longer, that one, definitely, especially if you've had a chance in the last frame. Mm. We always say that whenever the decider comes up, yeah. you, just want, you just want a chance, but if you have one and you make a mess of it, oh, that hurts. <laughs> you sit on the couch for a few days in the house. Don't speak to the wife. I'm sure, I'm sure Karen Trade was charmed. Keeps changing. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is from Ellis German, mm. who's from right here in York, and he says, do you think anyone can learn to play snooker at the highest level, or do you have to be born with mm. the skill? John. Um, it's, it's, I think it, everybody needs a little bit of natural ability yeah. to start off with. It's what you make of it yourself after that, but you do need something. I mean, you could coach certain people at certain sports. I mean, you could look at me. I mean, I could be, I don't know, you couldn't make me a rugby player if you tried, you know. I've got no <laughs> idea, no clue. But, you know, if someone's got a, some natural ability and application and they want to try and coordination, they've got a chance then. But you do need something. You can't just turn up and, and be uncoordinated because it isn't going to happen. OK, well, I know a man with natural ability, a six-times champion, record six-time champion in this event, at Steve Davis, who just cannot stay away from the auditorium, can you, Steve? No, I, you know, it reminds me of uh, when I was playing Ronnie O'Sullivan in the first round, and that one frame I won. What a great atmosphere we have here this evening for this semi-final. I'm with a few of the fans here. Philip, it's your first time at a snooker event. It is, yes, it is. How's it, how's it feel? How do you feel compared to being, watching it on the television? Um, oh, the atmosphere is definitely... Worth coming to watch with the atmosphere. Nothing like it. You get off television. We've actually been here watching the matches. I see you've chosen the earpiece, uh, so you may have to listen to the likes of Willie Thorne and Dennis Taylor. Unfortunately, yes, um, but it does help sometimes. Uh, they get obviously different angles of shots on the table that you can't see from just one position, which helps you. Sorry, I, I, that's okay. Th thank you very much, uh, Philip. Adam, uh, uh, you, you're not your first time at a snooker event. No, no, I've been to the uh, Crucible in Sheffield this year. I go to university there, so, so yeah, it was, it was really exciting, and this is equally as good as well. Special interest in the match? Yeah, my, uh, my manager in my job at home, he's, uh, he's friends with uh, Ricky Walden, and also he's from Chester, which is kind of near to where I live in Warrington, so, yeah, yeah. Leanne, you're the same? You want uh, Ricky to win? No, Mark Allen to win. Mark Allen. Mark Allen. Okay. Uh, and you are supporting Ricky Warden. I do know that, Kate. Know, okay. Yeah. Have you noticed? A, have you noticed any difference in the body language you've seen this afternoon and this evening? A definite different. Allen's definitely got his head. And Ricky, unfortunately, looks a bit downtrodden. So hopefully, he can bring it back. <laughs> Thanks very much. All with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And here they come. They're ready to come back out for these all-important last few frames. Remember, first to nine is going to go through to the final. And at the moment, Mark Allen is just two frames away from the winning post. 7-5 in front. And out they come. The body language.